WebKit features in Safari 16.4. I disagree with the Chrome comment, but how about decoupling mobile Safari upgrades from OS upgrades? It would be nice for all users to get access to these new APIs via a simple app update. This would allow developers to actually start using them within days, months, rather than years. The built-in WebKit is used extensively in apps. Tying it to the OS release makes testing and development a whole lot easier. Tying it to the OS release makes testing and development a whole lot easier. Right now I'm having to debug an obscure issue with Safari and Mojave. In my experience, coupling the browser with the OS version has been nothing but problems. Well, jokes on you. On Mac's Safari is decoupled from the operating system. Is it very difficult to ship two versions of it, one stable in the OS for embedding and another in an app? Then you have to have two copies of the program on disk and, at least at times, in memory. And they behave differently, which might be confusing. And all kinds of handoff scenarios and edge cases get potentially weird. Meanwhile, how many users would sacrifice any amount of stability or even just disk space to get somewhat quicker releases of browser features? I'm guessing the percentage may very reasonably be rounded to zero. It's not even close to being urgent enough to be worth any amount of risk or extra resource use, IMO, as someone who conceivably might care about it, and the vast majority of users are even less likely to give a damn than I am. So, why? Maybe I'm unusual, but it's been a really long time since I saw a new browser feature and was like, holy shit, this is amazing, and I don't know how I browse the web without it. I can wait a few months for a browser update, it's really not a big deal. How many users would sacrifice any amount of stability, or even just disk space, to get somewhat quicker releases of browser features? Android does this so I figure quite a lot of users are willing. How does MacOS handle it then? It also provides a web view for apps to use, but Safari is updatable separately from the OS. Why assume the Safari release cycle is hindered by iOS updates? iOS has an update every month or two. Chrome is every six weeks. Old iOS devices don't get Safari updates for one. Pretty big deal for PWA. Now we can send push notifications and update app badges. Now if we could get periodic background sync app and vibration app that would be perfect. Looks like I might finally have a reason to upgrade my iPhone 7. Web push is fantastic for developing useful applications without paying the Apple tax, which necessarily results in the garbage tier free apps dominating the App Store today. Want to do anything at all? Watch an ad every minute. Want functionality, that's not the absolute bare minimum. Pay $5 a month forever. Free apps are not using ads because they need to fund their $99 developer fee. I ain't publishing any utility apps for free if I have to pay. I have made plenty of utility websites I use as home screen apps though, all without ads. I had a free password generator app on the Mac App Store. It wasn't super popular, but had like 50-70 daily downloads. I didn't make any money from it. Just made the app because I needed it myself and wanted to learn a bit of Mako's dev. After a couple of years, I decided to stop paying $99 a year for hosting a little 5 megabytes app. Do you not have any hobbies that you pay for? When I was deep in the C hashtag ecosystem, I personally paid for my own JetBrain license. Do you also not pay someone to host your web apps? And with this, Finally, certain people can stop saying Safari is the new IE6 because it is lagging badly. Because that title is reserved for a certain behemoth that enjoys the same popularity as IE6 once had, and which IMO is probably more dangerous to the free web than IE6 was when it reacted. Flagged. I've been building websites for 10 plus years 
and still prefer Safari as my daily browser. I switched over from using Chrome full-time five years ago. Compared to Chrome, it's anecdotally faster, objectively more power efficient, and on par with Firefox for privacy. I don't know why you think Apple's uninterested in making a competitive browser. It's been years since Safari didn't support something I needed it to do, and I'd consider myself a power user. Reply On the one hand, a browser engine monoculture is going to be a disaster for the standards-based internet, if it's not already a disaster. On the other hand, Apple crippling web apps with a half-assed browser so that they can sell apps and rent-seek also sucks him. Glad Safari exists, but for the wrong reasons. It's such a tragedy that there are not more for-profit browser companies. Reply Greater than Apple crippling web apps of course, Apple isn't crippling them. On top of that you have the world's most popular OS with none of the perceived crippling, and we've yet to see a single amazing web app on that OS. Reply Apple is crippling web apps. They just released new Wake Lock API, but it only works in browser Safari. It is broken in PWA. QA cannot be that bad, they do not test PWAs for new features. Reply Greater than Apple is crippling web apps. Of course it isn't. Unless you can come up with a non-random list of things of what constitutes a PWA. Every time someone screams about Apple not doing something in PWAs, that list is different. Meanwhile, as I said above, there's an OS that holds about 70% of the world's market share that has none of this crippling as you put it. And yet, there are literally none of these amazing PWAs there that Apple supposedly cripples on their awesome thing. Tells me, the problem doesn't lie with Apple. Reply Just because you do not like PWAs, does not mean there are not amazing uses of PWAs. Reply Greater than just because you do not like PWAs, does not mean there are not amazing uses of PWAs. Talk is cheap. And yet in all these discussions, no one ever says, Ho, oh, look, over there in this amazing OS with no restrictions that has 70% of the world's market, there are these amazing PWAs, just look at them. It's always complaining about some absolutely random API that absolutely must be there on iOS for the PWA to finally happen, even if it exists on that other OS. Reply As I said, there are more people in the world than you. There are other opinions also. I know it is hard to accept it. Reply here comes the web push notification spam avalanche going onto iOS. The SaaS grifters will metastasize, multiply and deliver their snake oil, as they did to Android now, onto iOS users, only to degrade the platform further. Every time a non-Chromium browser pushes updates it's good news. That being said, if you care about open standards, privacy and a fair market, you should just delete whatever you have, and install Firefox right now.